All right, here we go. Outlaws in the building. Outlaws. Sign of Black. Edie and Noble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Welcome Thanks for back. having us, man. How excited are you guys about the movie right now? Very excited, man. You know, 20 years in the making, you know, um, behind the scenes stuff. They've been having a deal for since like what, you know, for the last eight, nine years or something. So to see it actually finally come, finally come to life, you know, despite all the things that have been going on, um, Pac deserve it, the fans deserve it, you know. It's an awesome thing, man. Well, you wrote an open letter. Yeah. About the movie, where you addressed a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I thought I knew a lot about <laughs> the movie that people I did it. <laughs> people never know what's really going on. They think they do, but they never have a clue, you know? So a couple of the interesting things that I took away from your open letter was, I guess Michael B. Jordan was originally considered for the role of Tupac? Yeah, I, the uh, the state side, I, I, you know, that was the, the person that they wanted, that I, you know, that I heard. That'd be interesting. I mean, I mean, he's I, a dope actor. He's know? a very dope actor. Yeah, he's, he's great. He was actually uh, somebody I, I brought brought up. Yeah, I think huh. to Edie, LT Hunt yeah. and, and, and yeah. um, Benny, and, Edie, you know, they Edie had like reasons too. for going with somebody else. But he was my first right. initial pick. Dope actor doesn't really look like Tupac. Right. right. That's uh, the thing. Um, when you an actor doesn't have to necessarily exactly resemble somebody to be able to bring them to life on screen. You this know, is true. It's like, you know, everybody don't have a twin walking around. You know right. I mean? Well, but the actor they chose was Demetrius Ship. Ship, mm -hmm. yeah, D. Ship. He definitely looks more like Tupac. Super man. look like him. <laughs> Just like him. Absolutely. You think he pulled off the role well? Extremely well. Uh, the, the people going to fall in love with the bro. He carries the movie. Yeah. He carries the one. He has to. <laughs> yeah, he's playing he, Tupac. You know what I mean? He, he does that. For he his does first, a good job at that. For his first role ever. Yeah. Um, you can imagine what kind of pressure, you know, right. every day, you know, once the people found out it was him, the fans was, you know, beating him up every day <laughs> online, like, you fucking better do this shit, and, you right. know, and, um, you know, when I met him, you know, I was, um, he's just a, a genuine dude, man, you know Shout out mean? to his acting coach, too, yeah. Angela Gibbs. Angela Gibbs. Marla Gibbs' daughter, um, yeah. she worked real close with him and getting him ready for this role, and even during the filming process every day. She was working with us, right? Because you know, like you mentioned, this is his first acting role ever. Huge pressure. So, so man. he's never been in short films or nothing. Nothing. But he, he said he did a couple of plays in high school. That <laughs> that don't count though. You can't even count that compared to this. But yeah, he um he he did his research. You know, he was researching the Panthers and you know the 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 elements who that you know that made Tupac who he was. You know what I mean? So he did his homework. He um. He trained ex extensively for this for years, man. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think he did He did extremely well, you know. Well, another interesting part that you brought up in your open letter was the whole John Singleton controversy. Right. So I guess initially John Singleton was supposed to direct right. the film. I don't think he was the first guy, but in the midst of them switching, right. yeah, they, he, was, he came on board. Which a lot of people thought was a good fit. I thought it was a good fit, too. Yeah, because he did, uh, what, Poetic Justice? He's a great director, like, yeah. period. And he's worked with Tupac. Can't take Absolutely. nothing away from John right. Singleton as far Absolutely. as what he's done. Right. You right. know what I mean? For movies and for the culture. Absolutely. Right. But you pointed out some very interesting things right. about Singleton. So essentially, he started to make his own script. Right. And in the script, he insinuated that Tupac got raped in jail. Right. Which is pretty crazy. I I've never heard that. He insinuated it. You know what yeah. I mean? So, he wanted to, you know, that's the Hollywood shit. You know what right. I mean? Let's put some extra stuff up in there. You know what I mean? Mm hmm And he also insinuated that a Feeney's a lesbian. Right. That's what he said. Which I've never heard before either. Because it's not true. Right. He, he insinuating stuff, you know, and they fired him, you know. What I didn't like was, you know, of course, it's always shit going behind the scenes that people don't know. I didn't like how he went on his um, interview campaign to basically try to discredit everything they was doing, all the hard work, you know, just to, it's almost like, um, let me put this out there first, just in case they, you know, come back. So he went on his smear, cane, uh, his smear campaign about, you know, the, the Tupac movie and what they was trying to do over there. And he was the one who, you know, got fired for basically trying to put that kind of shit in the movie. You know what I mean? So that was the reason why he got fired? Absolutely. Makes sense. Makes sense. Right. Like, when I when I got the call that he got fired, I'm like, fuck, like, he was the perfect guy. 
Then I heard the reason. I'm like, oh yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. Fire him. You know what I mean? Right. Because yeah, because then he started doing interviews about it. I guess he was exactly. saying he's gonna do his own Tupac movie right, later on. Right. Right. So he, you know, he got fired, and of course he don't, he didn't want people to know, you know, why he got fired. So of course he went on his campaign saying, yeah, well I left because they wasn't trying to play Tupac right and trying to, you know, discredit his, his mom and, you know. Yeah, and it was just, you know, I, I, me personally, I would expect more from John Singleton because, you know, um, it, race doesn't matter, but John, you were a, a new black film director at one time in your career. Right. And you uh, got criticism, you know what I mean, early on. <clears throat> and now you turn around and do the same thing to Benny Boom and you would expect John Singleton to say, you know what, that happened to me before, I'm not gonna do that. Even though I'm not in agree agreement with whatever happened, I'm gonna just keep my mouth closed. And, in and, the sake for the culture, and, in, 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 in sake of, you know, another brother another brother doing a movie, That's especially on somebody that I <clears throat> care about right. and, and, and had a relationship with. It's, it's a fucked up situation when you got, um you know, a black executive like, like LT and, you know, um, a good dude like Benny Boom, and it's like, you know, they fighting every day, man, you know, just to try to get it to come to life. You know what I mean? So, you know, for your own, your own, you know, supposed to be friend and good brother, turn around and do stuff like that. It's kind of, it's kind of terrible, man, you know.